Let obstacles lead the way. What's up champ, hope you're having a great day. It's another day, another video. And in this one, I want to tell you a little story. The concept, let obstacles lead the way, is something I've been practicing and harnessing for a long time. I want to take you back to 2015 when I was studying at the Norwegian School of Sports Science. During that time in my life, there were a lot of things going on. A lot of things. I was, um, I had one of my most darkest years. For some of you guys who know, I've been struggling with panic anxiety for years. That was the toughest year in my life. I just moved out from my dance crew. I got thrown out from one of the apartments I was living in, not because of me, but because of one of the persons I shared that apartment with. I got uh, robbed of Eight, six thousand euros true story I started studying at the same time I got a new job at the same time I had two jobs at that time also there was just tons of things going on and I was studying in a language I'm not fluent in I'm studying in Norwegian so what I had to do was to let obstacle lead the way and really find solutions there so I didn't have a lot of time I didn't have a lot of time to study and, and nothing at that time. But what I did have is that I had a commute. I had a 40 minute commute one way and 40 minute commute the other way. So what I did is that I studied at the, I found that loophole. Okay, here I have a 40 minute block, here I have another 40 minute block. So what I did was that I started recording all the lectures on my phone from school and I re-listened to them in, the, in my phone. So when I was traveling, I was still studying. I remember sitting like this with my notepad or with my book here and my notepad here writing and studying at the same time like studying and just traveling to work traveling on and off to work so those 40 minutes those they really saved me that was the only time during the day I could study I studied the whole course uh, at the Norwegian School of Sports Science on the bus like that was the only time and I know you have these moments in your life also when you're feeling I can't, I don't, I just don't have the time. I want to meditate, but I don't have the time. I want to practice my dancing, but I don't have the time. Find the loopholes. There is something called habit stacking. So for example, me, I always do meditation straight after I read out my movie ending. So what I do every day is that I read out or I write out my movie ending and I read it. Straight after that I add meditation because I'm already doing a habit and then I just stack another habit on top of it. So let find solutions champ. Use this technique. Let me know how it goes for you here under and remember as always by Dancers for Dancers.